Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running a Server 2025 VM in Proxmox. To get started, navigate to the Proxmox web UI and get logged in. Next, you'll need to download the Windows Server 2025 installation ISO, as well as the Vert.io driver disk. Then select a storage device on your Proxmox node and upload the two ISOs. Once you have both ISOs uploaded to your Proxmox node, right-click the node name and select Create VM. Give the VM a name and unique ID, then click Next. Select the Server 2025 installation ISO, and set the type to Microsoft Windows and the version to 11 2022. Check the box to add additional drive for Vert.io drivers, then from the drop-down select the Vert.io installation ISO. Click Next. On the System tab, set the BIOS to CBIOS, then set the storage device for the virtual TPM chip. Check the box for QMU Agent, then click Next. On the Disks tab, set the target storage device, then set the disk size to 40GB or more. Change the cache dropdown to Write Back, then set the bus device to Vert.io block. Click Next. On the CPU tab, set the cores value to 4 or more, then set the type to host, and click Next. On the memory tab, give the VM 4GB or more of memory, then click Next. Leave the defaults on the network tab, then click Finish to create the VM. Once the VM is created, select it from the left navigation menu, then select Hardware. If everything was done correctly, you should have two CD drives. If one is missing, you can add it from the Add drop-down. We can now start the VM and select Console to see the video output. Once the Windows setup loads, select your language, then click Next. Select your keyboard layout, then click Next. Check the checkbox, agreeing that everything will be deleted on the disk, then click Next. Enter a product key, or select I don't have a product key. Select which version of Server 2025 you'd like to install, then click Next. Click Accept to the license terms. At the disk selection screen, click Load Driver. Click the Browse button, then expand the Vert IO CD drive. Expand AMD64, then select 2K22 and click OK. Select the SCSI controller from the list, then click Install. Click Next to install Windows to the unallocated disk. And finally, click Install. Wait while Server 2025 copies and installs files. The VM will reboot several times during this process. If prompted, Enter the product key, or select do this later. Then enter and confirm a password for the administrator user, and click finish. Using the no VNC menu, send a control alt delete command to the VM. Log in using the password set during the setup. At the diagnostic data screen, select required only, then accept. We now have a Server 2025 VM running inside of Proxmox. Let's install the guest tools. Open Windows Explorer and navigate to the mounted Vert.io installation ISO. Launch the Vert.io Win Guest Tools installer. Step through the installer, accepting all the defaults. Once the installation completes, click Close, then shut down the VM. Back in the Proxmox web UI, 
Select Hardware from the left sub-navigation menu. Click on the second CD drive to select it, then click Remove. Now double-click the remaining CD drive, and from the options, select Do Not Use Any Media and click OK. Click Start at the top right of the screen to power on the VM. Then select Console. Log back in using the administrator password. Welcome to Windows Server 2025, running as a VM in Proxmox.